Hi everybody, it's Marcy and today is Tuesday and we're going to make a delicious salad. Um, I have had a couple of people ask me for the recipe for the home intention. I will text it to you or take a picture and send it to you, but um, I haven't gotten to it yet. I haven't forgotten you. Just don't worry about that. Okay, so this salad, um, again, I'm going to cut it in, in half, I guess, because I cannot eat what I normally make of this. Um, it's cherry tomatoes, and I've sort of changed it over the years a little, but it's with a homemade buttermilk dressing, which sounds really hard, but um, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm oh, just checking the dates on that buttermilk. I'm okay. Um, okay, so for the buttermilk dressing, I'm going to mix this right in this measuring cup. It needs half a cup of buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk, there are always substitutes online you can find. I think milk and um, lemon juice does it. I'm not sure. Um, I don't trust myself to do those. Okay, and I use the um, either low-fat or fat-free buttermilk. And then we take two tablespoons of olive oil. And you can see it has to be very precise. Not really, I'm joking. And then two tablespoons of lemon juice. Uh-oh, I don't think I can open this one-handed. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's get the rest of that oil out. There's one. Two tablespoons lemon juice. And then um, I used to have fresh garlic chives that I grew on my deck. Um, they've been gone for many, many years. So <clears throat> instead of that, I'm going to add some freeze-dried chives from Penzi's. And um, I have on here a bunch. I don't mean like a bunch, a whole lot. I mean a bunch, like literally just a bunch of chives. Um, so I'm gonna do, let's do about that much. What's that, about a tablespoon, maybe two? Okay, that is the dressing. Oh, wait, there's one other thing that goes in the dressing. Here, we're gonna sort of whisk this together a little. Move that out of the way too. Um, there's one other thing that goes in here. Now, my kids do not like blue cheese. I do. Um, it's supposed to uh, have blue cheese in it, but I've made it so many times with feta instead. And that is the way they like it. But since it's all about me right now, I get to use blue cheese. And if you buy the crumbles, that's fine. I didn't for some reason. Um, and you do about half a cup of the crumbled blue cheese or feta. And again, oh, well, I made the whole batch of dressing. I guess I gotta do that. Okay. So, uh-oh. Okay, there, your dressing is finished. Let's put that aside and then what I do for this is I usually do a, um, a pint or two pints. You know, it depends how much you want. This is like half a pint of tomatoes. Um, for every pint of tomatoes, um, I do a, a half to a whole avocado. Um, for the tomatoes, a lot of times when tomatoes are really good and in season, I like to do... Um, you know, yes, half yellow, half red. It makes a really pretty salad. I mean, you'll see what this looks like with just the red ones. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it up the way I've uh, shown you about a hundred times, where you just cut it in the skin and then scoop it out. And the last thing we put in here is some corn. Again, I'm only gonna use about half of it. Um, and I really, I'm telling you, the green giant, green giant, can't even talk, 
the green giant um, corn is really good, so I don't know, it just tastes fresher. If you have fresh corn, that's even better. Okay, so you see it looks really pretty already. We just toss those together. Um, oh, the tomatoes, you know, sometimes I slice them, sometimes I don't. If you cut them in half, it's easier to eat, but, um, you know, more work. So, either way. Um, and then I'm not going to use this whole thing. Let's get this. But I do want to dig down and get some of that blue cheese in there. cheese stuck okay and then we're gonna just pour some in but not a ton because this really goes really far and it makes I'm telling you it makes so much it goes forever and that's it it keeps really well unlike most salads you know most salads will wilt or turn brown or just get soggy this one keeps really well because first of all the lemon juice in it keeps the avocado from turning brown and isn't it so pretty? It always makes me so happy with all the bright colors. Um, so it's really, it's a good one that you can make and save for a day or so, as opposed to most salads where I will not keep them overnight because then they're just gross. Um, that is it. For, oh, I have to tell you one other thing. So, you know, I've been making home in this past week and um, it's for the holiday of Purim. I saw online, and if you want to see the video, message me and I'll send it to you. Um, a bakery that makes it and they have this huge roll uh, rolling pin but a after it's rolled out so they take this rolling pin and it rolls across and it cuts all of the all of the dough perfectly into hexagons um, I mentioned hexagons before but I've always just done circles so I thought oh that would be so great first of all there's like no waste because the hexagons fit perfectly together and it looks so much easier to fold up. So I was all excited. So I went online and ordered these. And of course, being, um, being I, I used that Smile Amazon with the ADL. So um, it showed up like the next day pretty much. And I was so excited because I was going to um, make some more home as um, hexagons. And I have to show you. Okay, the first one I took out was this. The second one I took out was this. And then the third one was this. I mean, these cookies are so... I don't know how they call these cookie cutters. They actually call them cookie and fondant covers or cutters. I cannot imagine ever making a cookie this small. I mean, this is like, I don't know, Teddy Graham size. So I didn't get to use them. I did try another place though. So hopefully I'll get those and I'll be making home and passion for years to come now, trying to figure out the best way. So I hope you guys enjoy this salad. I know I am going to. It's sort of, um, also as it sits, it sort of like gets creamier. So good. I can't wait for dinner tonight now. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.